Hi everyone, this is Maruti Reddy. Welcome to Eagle 9 Visa Consultants. Today in this video, uh, I am going to explain you uh, how to activate your uh, fee receipts. Many applicants have paid fees before in old CJ portal and when they are trying to sign up into the new CJ portal, the fee receipts are not reflected to them. So for many of the applicants, the fee receipts are carried forward and we will we'll be able to see schedule appointment option where we can go and schedule appointment. If you have, if we have already booked an appointment, even for many applicants, the entire appointment confirmation data is been carried forward and we are able to uh, download the appointment. We are also able to reschedule appointments. So for many applicants who paid the fees but uh, who are not able to see their fee receipts activation for them this is the small technique we have to use to get it activated I am just logging into a account where I have already paid the fees and I have signed up into the account but fees is not automatically activated so I am signing into it so I am entering security answers now so again once again I am just wanted to tell you that this application uh, we have already paid fees two months before only so and when I signed up uh, into this new CJ portal I didn't see any fee activation I didn't see schedule appointment option so this is the home page of this applicant where we have already paid the fees uh, two months before only but when I sign up the profile is not showing any embassy fees activation and it is showing continue application close application start new application at this point of time uh, be careful don't go to close application and start new application it will entirely override your application and fee activation is very tough later i don't know i don't have i haven't seen any case where the fees got activated after we went to close application and start new application so if you have already paid the fees and this is how the page comes and you don't know what to do then all you have to do is go to continue application so it will directly move to the page this page where you don't even be seeing a claim receipt also so here we even can't claim receipt so the page what we will be able to see is like payment options and it is directly going into cash payment or UPI payment or whatever the payment it is but you will be surprised by this, this seeing this page what to do now we should be paying the fees or how to activate it now again reason carefully if you have reached this page after pressing continue application and you are able to see your previous uh, uh, fee receipt this is the fee receipt number you are able to see here with some kind of number if you are able to see this reference number you are lucky your embassy fees has been carried forward we have to do a simple step further to make it activated so everybody even i when i reach this page uh, I got surprised what to do and we, we don't want to make the payment again by selecting this and because we already have made the payment so at this point of time we use we generally do we will log out or else we will go to the feedback and we will try to raise a query for the uh, customer care and asking them requesting them to resolve it and they never have properly responded till date so when you reach this place where your, refer where your previous uh, fee receipt uh, number is available here this is our fee receipt number all all this uh, till 53 7301700434 is a receipt number where i made neft mode of payment if you have paid through axis bank it will be a, 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 some other uh, reference number so in that situation just go, go to any of the fee payment mode any of it you can choose any of it and just go to submit surprisingly here you can see that fee total fee is this and total collected is this so it, it is it is a proof that we already have made remaining balance is zero so all we have to do is go to continue to confirm receipt once the moment we do that our fee receipt is activated this is a simple step you have to do to make it activated because many of them are stuck at this place and this video will help many of the people to reactivate your receipts again and again i am telling you don't go to cancel application and create new application that will override your embassy fees you you may need to pay fees again and i don't know customer care people can retrieve it if you go to close application cancel application and create a new application is a very dangerous option they have given 
it is creating a lot of problem where it overrides our entire profile and even removes our uh, fee receipts uh, that is linked to our application. So now I am going to continue to confirm receipt and uh, the name and the fee receipt number is already here. Total fee payment also is a confirmation for us. I am going to submit. Now we went directly to the calendar where we can choose uh, OFC post. So we can choose if dates are available. We will be able to pick dates. This is a proof that our fee receipt is active. Again I am going to visa application home page. And if you see now, uh, the options will change because our fee receipt is activated now. So now we are able to see fee payment activation here. Okay, this is no dependent application, a single application. And a schedule appointment option is there. Now we can smoothly go to schedule appointment. Select any OFC, whatever we want. If dates are available, we'll check and then we'll submit and then we'll, we can go for counselor appointment and we can book an appointment when dates are open. So first, do this to make your uh, uh, fee receipt activated. Later, when dates open up, we can comfortably book appointments. I hope this video helped you to understand how to activate your receipts. So many people are stuck here and many people have went to that cancel application and create new application. That is a big mistake people are doing. Once you go there, it is overriding our entire profile and fees also. Again, retrieving it is, is, is very hard and we may, we may be forced to pay fees again. So be careful. Hope this video has helped you a lot and uh, follow my videos for more updated information about this new CGI portal. I'll be making more videos continuously on this. Please subscribe to my channel.